Hey there, Cyberspace. This is Cyber Trades here. Some people are calling me Simon Trades. And you join me at Bruges Town Railway Station because today we are busy plenty of northern only stations with two platforms. And these are the following stations we are busy in this blog Alderley Edge, Gatley, Burnage. Now, the reason I'm busy at Alderley Edge first because I want to see some Class 769 EMUs. Well, they're not EMUs as such, they're like by multiple units. But how is. I've seen a few, but I haven't seen one in service yet, so that's why I go to Alderley Edge Station. But when I'm there, there's actually something I want to tell you at Alderley Edge. And then the rest of the block, we're going to be spending on the Style Line, which is a commuter line between Manchester Airport and Manchester Piccadilly. Visiting all those stations in this block and also in Thursday's video. So the time is before 6.53, so I need to be on the other platform now for my train to arrive to take me to Rooster Trev Valley. Three fifty three seventy will take us through to Trent Valley. So you now join me at Rugy Trent Valley Railway Station. We're only here to change trains because we are waiting for the 709 London Northwestern Railway Service to take us to Crewe. Now I didn't film much en route to Crewe. However, when I got to Crew LWR, I did film this because we have found a London Northwestern Railway delivery Class 730 EMU, and this EMU is five coaches long. But this is what's planned to replace the Class 319s and the Class 350 2s. But we're now pulling into Crew Station to catch the 0817 Northern service to our first destination. Stockport and Manchester Piccadilly. So we're now departing Crew Station. As we depart Crew, we're branching off the West Coast Bay Line, but we do see Crew Heritage Centre in the distance. And I was hoping we could have a party on the APT in August. But I hate to be the bearer of bad news because the date for Crew Heritage Centre has been pushed back again. And the date now for Crew Heritage Centre to reopen is the 28th of August 2021. Which is a shame really, or another party on the APT. So we now just left Crew on the 0817 Northern Service at Oakwell Live Street. But this will take me to my first destination, Aldi Edge. We're going to have an hour Aldi Edge filled with the trains there. And we're also on board 323 232. The 0817 Northern service goes to Liverpool Live Street. And since this service that I'm travelling on does actually skip through two northern stations with two platforms. The first one is Goose Street. And then the second one we are passing is Chelford. But after passing Chelford, it's all the edge. So we're now departing the train. <laughs> to go on platform two for a bit because there was a contract on platform one giving this platform a good blow and a perfect job he did as well but I do actually have a question to ask you why we're at Alderley Edge what is it well it's a northern station with two platforms but that's not important right now because the important question is what am I doing at Alderley Edge railway station simple really trying to get some class 769s unfortunately though there are none Feels like a waste of time because we just got the sprinters on the Southport to all the edge services at this moment, but it's actually not a waste of time because there's something I do want to tell you. 
because apart from a few peak services for Banty West Coast services from Manchester, the used to which use this line, most of the day they're not running at the moment because they reduced the timetable throughout the end of July and over August. So there is only hourly service between Manchester, Piccadilly and London, Euston by Stoke on Trent. There is no hourly service by crew for Avanti West Coast services, which is a shame really. And this is why that I'm not going to do this line till after September now, to try and find Mrs. G Love's trains, 175109, and also come back on this line to get some class 769s. Anyway, station history of Old The Edge Railway Station and we're going to fill some more trains while we're here. It's now time for the station history of Older the Edge Station. Older the Edge opened on the 11th of May 1842 as Alderley by the Manchester Birmingham Railway. In April 1853 the station was relayed to Alderley and Chorley. But it wasn't till January 1876 when it was relayed to Older the Edge. Older the Edge was also part of the first stage of the West Coast Mainline Electrification Programme in 1960 and the three letter station code for Old the Edge is A-L-D. The one thing that gets me at Old the Edge railway station is, is this wall right behind me here. Because it looks like an abutment. So it could be a bridge over it, but it could just be part of the stonework for the railway station, but I just don't know. That's very interesting to find out, that is, to be honest with you. It's just very interesting at Old The Edge Station, doing it with northern units and transport rail units and no Avanti West Coast services. It feels like something's gone off and London Houston had to cancel all the services. That's what it feels like. But you wonder why that light down there is flashing yellow. That's because it's waiting for my train. If it's flashing yellow at the Edge Railway Station, it's going by uh, the style line towards Manchester Airport. And that's where we're going next because we are going to Gatley Railway Station. So we are waiting for my train now to arrive, take me to Gatley, our next location. <laughs> On route to Gatley, we stopped off at Manchester Airport, but this station has so much security, all that I got was this quick photo of the Northern Class 323 standing at Manchester Airport. So I jumped back on and we carried on our journey towards Gatley. So I skipped Hill Green because that will be in Thursday's video which we'll explain later when we get to Morforth Road. But this is Gatley Railway Station and it's an orbit station and it has two platforms indeed. It's now time for the station history of Gatley Station. 
Gatley was opened by the London North Western Railway in 1909. When the station opened, it was known as Gatley for Cheezle. 6th of May 1974 is relayed to Gatley, and the three letter station code for Gatley is GTY. Also at Gatley, Transpad Express services stop here as well with their services to Redcliffe Central. Honestly, would recommend filming at Platform One at Gatley Station at the north end, because at the southern end you've got a nice big curve going off to the left, and at this end as well you can see a nice long straight looking down towards the other stations en route. Standing by this four cardboard because our next train is actually four coaches. Yes, it's a filthy bugger, a class 319, and it will take us to our next location, Burnage. Now, the next stop is East Disbury, but I'm going to save that one for Thursday's video as well. So it should be coming out and take us to Burnage. Burnage feeling that this is a northern only station and it has two platforms. And quite right indeed, we're now at Burnage Station, which is our third station we're filming at today. Now time for the station history of Burnage Station. Burnage opened in 1910 by the London North Western Railway. The station was reconstructed twice during its time. The first time was in 1958 and the second time was in 2007 when the platforms were reconstructed. And the three letter station code for Burnage is BNA. I've also got another Burnage question I like to ask. Who leaves their shoe here? I'll be 100% honest with you, this line that I'm doing today is a complete gem of multiple units. 
because with your multiple units you've got four different types of northern trains operating this line. You've got your class 195s, your class 323s, your class 319s and your class 331s. For Transpad Express you've got your class 185 diesel to zeros and your class 397 electric multiple units. And for Transport for Wales you've got your class 175 diesel multiple units. And unfortunately we've still not seen Mrs G Love's trains yet. But this line was actually built to ease congestion out of Stockport because Stockport was getting absolutely congestive in the 1900s with the demand of traffic. So they built this line in 1909 to ease the congestion out of Stockport so they could have trains terminate at Manchester London Road, which is now Manchester Piccadilly, or the disused station of Manchester Mayfield Station, which trains used to run from Wilslow to Manchester Mayfield Station. But we are leaving Burnage shortly because we are going to Balfour Road, which is where we're going to end the journey. But we are waiting for our train now to arrive to take us there. So we're now made to Morfluff Road and we're not going to talk about this station because it's going to be the start of Thursday's video. However though we are going to talk about the civilization to get here from Rougie Town Railway Station. And the journey actually went alright, there was no troubles at all. We got the 653 off Rougie Town Station, we got the 709 off Rougie Trev Valley Station and we got the 817 Northern Service off Crew, which took us to Alderley Edge Station. And apart from the Banty West Coast service, he's not running at the moment because apparently they want to travel with confidence, but they took them off and only running an hour in the Manchester service. We did get some good northern train stuff and we did get some transport for Wales services as well. The only disappointment at Aldi Edge was no class 769s. However, we did get class 319, so that kind of made up for it. And they went on to the Star Line to start at Gatley Station, which again, no problems at all. Everything ran like clockwork. Then we went to Burnage Station, and Burnage was also a good location. We managed to get some trains there as well, filmed some trains. And then we come to Morfluff Road Station, because this is where we're going to start Thursday's video. And if you'd like to see that video, and also like to see any more Siren Trains Railway journeys, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and I will see you for Thursday from Morfluff Road to Rougie Town and we'll go back the same way. Mm -hmm.